and whatever the A you choose, then you press indeed OK. It is easy with actually the belts that you can use around the baby, so you don't need to actually I will let Edin do this over here too. Yeah. Um, Edin, this yeah. one's come on, but yes, it will. Um, can you take this Salda? I'll take <laughs> <laughs> Because this one is on already. So, Paul is also okay. so, what so what I want to explain is, okay. you know, if this is a you child like uh, and it's wriggling around, this is as simple as strapping it to the torso of the child. And then there's a button here that you press. Uh, okay, this one, let me restart it because uh, he had already started and uh, I'll just show you how it goes. Give me a minute. But still, there is an intelligent algorithm in it, in the technology with an accelerometer. That actually makes but the right she's pneumonia free, but I'm going to have to start this yeah, again. Of, of the breathing. And then when it's <coughs> done, it gives two important types Okay, so here, uh, the device is actually way, asking, is this a toddler? Uh, so this one, you know, is it a baby that's in a bed? Mind. Is it a toddler? Or yeah. is it a, a infant? So you can actually, it's very simple, you can yeah. move. So it knows what the breathing very, count has to be. If it's a toddler, it's in a certain age easy. range. If you move it forward, um, you know, it's in a certain age range. So let's say yeah. we've said, okay, the child, it's a child. And then you just simply press okay. And, and then the device is yeah. smart enough. It is already doing the breathing. There's an algorithm inside, so it's already measuring the breath of the baby. Mm, it just takes one minute. Yeah. And... Um, So it's just working by itself. So even if the the child is moving around or shifting around, there's not a problem because this is strapped to the baby. So it, it, you know, unlike what the traditional midwives do, or they're trying to hold a child and count looking at a watch, which can go completely wrong. This is fully automated, and um, at the end, after a minute, it gives you what the breathing count is. Yeah. So this baby is. Uh, breathing at 35 and it's green so yeah. the midwife or whoever is doing the measurements does not need to worry yeah. um, and in this case there was another child and uh, yeah it's red so it's a clear indication this child has pneumonia and needs medication immediately because yeah if you don't diagnose and treat it immediately that's what's leading to the mortality so and also based on the statistics antibiotics is there so the challenge is not in getting the medication it's making the right diagnosis and taking indeed the right action. The, and then again, we've got two models of this product. Yeah. So one, uh, that, so one that can be charged. So if you're in a community that you have electricity, you can charge it. And then that, that model comes, which is battery equipped. So you can just put a battery cell. So if you're off grid, you also have a technology with. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So which we'll is it's indeed uh, a low entry. Maybe. Which is a low entry in the model, and where of course you don't you have non rechargeable batteries no, 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 in it. Battery, yeah, I mean. um, I yeah. um, and the other one is indeed with a USB cable, and then you can recharge it. Um, for this one, you have more than two thousand diagnoses that you can do with. So with the one which is uh, non rechargeable, and of course with the other one you can do much more. So it lasts longer than three years. Yeah. So this is the, the two babies, the two devices, uh, the last cameraman came in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Southern Paul. Southern Paul, yes. Okay. Good. So this is the official launch, uh, actually, of, of the products for the, for the world itself. The product itself is not yet available. It will only come available by uh, Q2 next year, uh, yes. when the official uh, launching will be happening. Uh, in the market commercial itself. Commercial launch. Commercial, commercial launch will happening over here. Yeah, so this is the pre-launch actually uh, uh, introduced the product to the market itself. Because of World Pneumonia Day. Yeah, exactly. We, we, you know, today there's, as like Edine mentioned, there's a huge uh, United Nations Congress on pneumonia taking place in New York. And this is the same issue. And we are launching this technology, which is what they are waiting for, in New York. In Nairobi, we are doing the global launch. And it's also in New Delhi. So depending on the time zones, is in three countries, uh, <laughs> three cities around the world, Philips is introducing this. Okay. And, and, the, and the beta testing and yes, all that happened. Yes, are already happening. Uh, happen it happened indeed. in East Africa. Yes. Which saved the children. Yes. Yeah. <coughs>
we'll, we'll take any questions that you have. I think we've done 